everyone how have you been it's been a while i didn't post any videos so what happened is i've just been thinking about what i can do as a business how i can do it and what i would want to do so this could be a viable business for the long term and this is why i'm doing this video today because i have figured out something that i i'm really excited about and i want to share with you uh, my idea to see if that would be of any interest for any one of you i know i don't have a lot of subscribers but if you're just popping on here for the first time and you're interested in planning or even if you're not interested in planning please leave a comment to let me know if that would be um an interesting idea so i'm not going to talk about it more i'm just going to turn the camera around and show you um what i want to do uh, and this is linked to the title of this video. So turning my old Hobonichi in a bullet journal. So let's get started. Basically, I want to convert this Hobonichi. This is an old version of the Hobonichi. Uh, it's from 2015. So uh, I haven't used it to its full capacity. So now I want to set it up to be able to use it as a bullet journal. So first step in the Hobonichi is to, for me to set it up, is to have a future log. And here I will do the, le the last date just to show you, well, you know how to stamp, but I mean, let's do it together. So I've inked my stamp and I just want, I made the mark here just to know where I want to stamp it and hopefully I will stamp it properly. Like that, I'll wriggle it to hopefully get all the numbers properly and not a perfect impression, but it's okay. What I want to do also is cover this date here. Since it's not the right date, it's written Saturday, May 30th. Um, it's a Hobonichi from 2015. I don't need the dates. I made this so I could cover this date here. It's not perfect. I will have to glue it and I will leave some of it hanging out of the Hobonichi, but it's okay. I like that look of not perfect uh not perfection we with these i wanted to play with color i will whip out my watercolors i have here the jane davenport davenport set what color do i want i want the mermaid color so it's here i'll just pick this up just i'll do it like that like that and then do a ombre down 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 hopefully it ombres up it doesn't seem like it wants to ombre i'll remove some water or some pigment and let's pull it down like this this is Kind of an ombre. <laughs> I'll add some color here, I guess. Yeah, that's better. Now let's do October. I'll just take this green. Why not? And again, I want to ombre it. So let's try to ombre it. the 70s eyeshadow let's try to ombre it again did i made up a verb here let's try to ombre it that's not proper english i'm sorry so there's too much water here i'm just gonna wipe it a bit and then this other blue just to make it easy on me because i'm not really good with color theory and how to mix colors and all this so 
this blue is so beautiful and you see the application is really different from this blue here I wonder why maybe it was too wet I think maybe that's why maybe I had too much water in my water brush but here it is I think with the colors on the page it's okay to not put down color under here so I'll just glue this okay so future lug and what I realize now is I could have stamped these a bit just maybe one or two lines lower so that I have time uh, enough space to put this on but I like the way it looks like that even if it's hanging out ideally it's hanging out the the page here but ideally I would like it to um, be within the page I decided to use these two pages as my weekly spread um, I'm going to use here what we could call uh, my samples I just want to lay some colors um, to be able to put these over the color and just want to I'm not sure like that and mix them up a bit not too much so there's no contamination like that So here's the Monday, and I think I'm going to put it just on a slant like that. And yeah, why not? Tuesday here. that I'm really liking these I'm just going to add a bit more glue here so I'll again put this on a slant I guess I'll do that for every word every day the Wednesday Here, a small slant. Thursday, I really love how I wrote the Thursday. Look at this. It's so nice. <laughs> I love it. So. Again, there's kind of not enough color around it. Might have to go back and fix it. But for now, I'll leave it like that. Just to finish the video and if I need to make some changes I'll do it Friday Saturday not enough enough color but I still like it I still like the look here I would add color under here it's Sunday and here since it's not a day but a to-do list I made it different so it's my to-do I like that I think I would I want to move this up a bit I want to move it up like that this is how it looks 
I have to say I really like it. I like it a lot. So I just wanted to show you my face before I leave. Um, you've seen uh, my process, what I want to do. I've shared my ideas with you. So please uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this idea. I think it would be perfect for me. And I'm so excited about it. I'm really hopeful that it will work because this has been a goal of mine for a long time to just be able to start my business already. And I feel now I found something that is me and that I can do. But I still need your help to um, kind of figure out if it's a good idea, if you think it would be interesting. I know not everyone is interested in planning but if you are interested in planning please leave a comment and let me know if this would be something interesting to you like have um kind of planner die cuts so thank you very much for watching subscribe if you want to see how this evolve and uh, take care of yourself hope to see you very soon bye